It is a women's strawweight matchup between Joanna Jacek and Jessica Aguilar. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Gion Jacek is 30. Aguilar is 35. Gion Jacek is two inches taller. She will have a two-inch reach advantage. You ready to fight? You ready. All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. So here is the former UFC strawweight champion, Yoada Yale Jacek. She has broken a lot of fighters with her work rate, with her pace. There is no denying the output. Seemingly doesn't get tired. We'll see how Yoada Yale Jacek starts this challenge tonight. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. And a right oh! behind it. Oh, big shot! This could be it right here. to the body there, Joe, right underneath her elbow, right underneath that guard. But it almost looks as though she's moving right into it. So until she makes the adjustments, you can figure her opponent is going to continue to attack that area. Great job landing a series of punches. Nice kick to the body by Young Jacek. Oh, that's some takedown defense, Joe Rogan. Tried to go for the single leg, not there. Good shot to the body. Good solid strike on the ground. Trying to take the back here. Aguilar's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Looking for the choke, looking for the choke. Beautiful defense by Joanna. Big punch from the bottom. Making all these shots count. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Big shot. Oh. Lands a punch. Nice shot to the head. Effective strike there by Yeon Jai The ground strike starting to pile up. Stop. Stop. Of course, you know, she only has 60 seconds here to recover physically, mentally. We'll see if she can stay in this fight. And here, another clean shot lands and another knockdown. That cuts pretty bad, I'm not going to lie. You ready to fight? Ready. Second ready. round underway. Can you believe she is able to keep up this output just as she did in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down? Oh! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. This could be it right here. Back to the feet. Nasty combinations here. Going to the body there with the right kick. Nice leg kick. Big bruise starting on the right side of her body. Not good. Leon Jacek gets caught with that punch. Nice leg kick by Joanna. Goes for a single. 
While overall her striking has been sharp tonight, she has landed some. Whoa! Oh! That's it. It's over. And wow. just like that, the what fight is over. What a knockout! Big right hand punch for the KO. Yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. Let's see it again. Tremendous force, and that's a wrap. Look at this. Boom! Wow! Well, there she is. Man, did she have it going here tonight as she gets the huge win by knockout, near-perfect execution, and that could be one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called off for this contest at 1 minute, 18 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joanna Yerjajan! All right, so congratulations to Joanna Yerjajan. She adds to her Hall of Fame legacy yet again tonight. What can this woman not do inside an octagon? She is a master of making in-fight adjustments, using her opponent's weaknesses to her advantage. Certainly doesn't hurt that she might just have the best jab in all of MMA on this UFC roster, top to bottom, than Joanna Yeonjacek.